So guys, if you're currently sitting on the fence deciding whether you should pick up a Hardware 4 car now or wait until Hardware 5 officially drops, believe it or not, there are hundreds and thousands of people in the exact same position deciding whether they should forego the $7,500 tax credit and wait until the next generation chip or jump into one right now and get all the latest discounts. Now ultimately, the decision is up to you and for you to decide, but here is all the latest details on the upcoming Hardware 5 AI5 chip and how far it has come and how far we are away until getting this latest upgrade. Earlier this year, during Tesla's Q2 earnings call, Elon shared a number of important updates, mainly around FSD and Tesla's hardware roadmap with implications to Hardware 3, Hardware 4, and those waiting for Hardware 5. Tesla gave details on the long-promised upgrades for older vehicles, the current state of self-driving, and even a timeline for when Hardware 5 might arrive. Elon highlighted that the upcoming AI5 chip will be a major leap forward, so powerful in fact that Tesla may need to limit its exports outside of the US due to federal restrictions. He also confirmed that AI5 would draw nearly three times the power of Hardware 4, which means Tesla has to completely redesign the electrical and thermal systems that makes it incompatible with existing vehicles unless the entire computer is swapped out. Reports suggest that this new computer would deliver 2,000 to 2,500 tops compared to the current 300 tops on Hardware 4, a massive five-fold jump up in raw performance. Alongside this news, Elon confirmed that recently Tesla has officially ended development of its Dojo chip project. Instead, Tesla is now fully focused on the next generation chips like AI5 and AI6 with partners such as TSMC and Samsung. On X, Elon explained that all paths converge to AI6, which forced them to shut down the Dojo project and restructure the team. Dojo 2 was an evolutionary dead end and that Dojo 3 essentially lives on as a board packed with AI6 SOCs. Looking ahead, AI5 is being designed specifically to power full self-driving while AI6 will expand into broader inference tasks, humanoid robots, and large-scale AI training. He added that it doesn't make sense for Tesla to split resources between multiple chip designs so now, everything is focused on AI5 and AI6 and what comes all after that. Elon has also emphasized that the real-world jump from AI4 to AI5 is greater than any previous version he's ever seen before. This gives us a clearer look at how powerful AI5 will eventually be, strong enough that Elon has even considered replacing high-performance NVIDIA GPUs and Tesla's very own D1 chips with the AI5 and AI6 chipsets. Then now, moving on to today, the latest updates regarding AI5 and AI6 chips comes directly from Elon on X. Just this past weekend, Elon shared his latest updates with the chip design, saying that he had a great design review with the Tesla AI5 team and that it's shaping up to be the most epic chip ever. He further added that by switching from two chip architecture to one, it means that all their silicon talent is focused on making one incredible chip and in a response to a user going by Ali on X, who questioned whether this is only referring to the best AI chip specifically made for cars or speaking as a whole, Elon says that although he could be wrong, but he thinks that AI5 will probably be the best inference chip of any kind for any models below 250 billion parameters which will be by far the lowest cost silicon and best performance per wattage. He finally wraps it all up with a statement saying that AI6 will then take that even further. All right guys, so as we get closer and closer to the release of this chip, we get to unravel more details on the true potentials of AI5 and how much better it is than the current AI4. This chip was built from the ground up for truly unsupervised full self-driving and unlike all the other previous chips where they were in the midst of developing the software, not knowing how much compute was actually needed for true autonomy, Hardware 5 is going to be the one that does it all. It's going to be the one that runs RoboTaxi as soon as it's available and it's going to be the one that's going to be powering all of our cars to allow us to go truly autonomous driving. Then of course, to extend that even further, AI6 has already been talked about now and already referenced to, and once that gets added into cars and everything else, this is where we're gonna see tons of new advancement, things that we haven't seen yet 
on any of the vehicles and products we have today. Now, in other news, hidden in the codes of Tesla's latest app update version 4.48.5, a handful of new features and visuals have been added. One of the most interesting is something called Tesla Challenges, which looks to be a feature where owners could unlock trials or rewards through different achievements, such as the amount of supercharging sessions within a month. The update also shows support for the upcoming Model Y L, codename Bayberry E80, with no regional restrictions, as well as support for the Model Y performance. New visuals have also been added, 21-inch Arachnid 2.0 wheels for the Model Y performance and 19-inch Machina wheels for the Model Y L in China. A new paint option called Silk Road Silver has also appeared along with a built-in feedback survey and additional codes referencing the RoboTaxi program. And lastly, Tesla Vision is enhancing airbag safety in a new software update which will utilize the company's vision-first approach to enable better protection in event of an accident. According to the release notes, this update builds upon the vehicle's superior crash protection by enabling the front airbags to begin to inflate and restrain occupants earlier. This update is now available to all vehicles ranging from Hardware 3 and onwards. So there we have it guys, things are moving extremely quick but at the same time not quick enough. The original timeline was expected for AA5 to arrive by the end of 2025 but now it has been pushed to later parts of 2026 which has been confirmed through the latest earnings call. Now personally, I don't know what exactly to think of this. I still believe that they are going to be designing and releasing the CyberCab with Hardware 5 built right into the car. And that means with Q1 expected for the CyberCab and the second generation vehicles to arrive, they are going to be putting the latest autonomy chip right into the car from day one, which also means that production has already needed to start it from now until that point. Added on top of that, I can't see them building a car that is going to be fully autonomous on day one, built for autonomy, built for unsupervised full self-driving, but slapping a chip that is roughly three to four years old, which is hardware four, they are definitely without a doubt going to be integrating hardware five or AI five right into the car. And that also means that we might be seeing in the later production vehicles like the Model Y and Model 3 later this year. So all of that just means that if you are waiting for a car right now and you're deciding between picking up a car, $7,500 or waiting until Hardware 5 drops, it doesn't hurt to wait just a little bit longer for go the 7500 because you are going to want the latest chips and I think this is the highest recommendation that I can give you right now regardless of what anyone else says and what any other channel says. I want the best for you here. I would want the best for my family and everybody else that is watching. So this is my say, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments below. I do think there's going to be a lot of disagreement, but I would love to hear all of it. Drop me one in the comments and follow me on X at Hey Johnny. You guys can chat with me over there anytime or respond as quickly as possible. But don't forget about this channel. Before you head up, hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. Anyways, this should be it for this one. I will continue to keep my eyes out for anything new that comes up and update you as quickly as possible. This is John. This is John. This is John. Once again, peace out.